It's the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. Stay around. We're going to talk about our leaders as saboteurs. That's what they are. Hang around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's discuss the idea of our leaders as saboteurs. Um, I think that's what we're dealing with here. You know, I mean, so many leaders uh, during the COVID crisis have behaved like saboteurs towards their own nations. And I mean, look, can it be accidental? Of course. Uh, our leaders can, of course, be stupid. Um, uh, the people advising our leaders are, are probably uh, idiotic. Um, or they're in league with the globalist agenda and, and causes like Agenda 21 and Event 201 that um, Bill Gates conducted at Johns Hopkins last year or the Rockefeller lockstep program. Maybe it's just the advisors that are advising our politicians that are behave, making them behave in such an idiotic manner. It's hard to tell. Um, are our politicians themselves corrupt? Are they blackmailed by a kind of Epstein kind of operation? Are they bribed? Could they be sympathetic to a country like China? Could Daniel Andrews, for example, be sympathetic to um, Maoism or Marxism that is espoused by China and see this as an opportunity to kind of push a kind of Chinese agenda in Australia uh, and make Chinese more, uh, sorry, China more hegemonic in this country? That's a possibility as well. But whatever it is, whatever the excuse is, whether it be error, incompetence, um, corruption, treachery, whatever it is, um, many of our politicians are behaving in a kind of Sabotor, sabotar, uh, what's the word? Sabotorial way towards our countries. Um, and you see that in America, for example, in relation to the, the, the race that's going on with Donald Trump at the moment, the way the Democrats have been promoting these Black Lives Matter riots and the Antifa riots that have been burning American cities to the ground, often in Democratic cities. They've recently began to condemn them. It's only because Donald Trump is rising hugely in the polls. Um, you know, it's, it's a huge disaster what's going on. But again, they're behaving like saboteurs towards their own nation. And I think here in Australia, why are, are we locked down so drastically? Why are our borders closed? I mean, that's against the Constitution as far as I can tell. And why can't Australians leave? I mean, many people might have gone to Bali for a month or something. Why can't we leave our own country? I mean, it's incredibly um, suspicious that we're locked down and we can't even leave our own country at this time. Uh, and it's just suspicious. I mean, what possible damage can you do by leaving and going on holiday to Bali or, or whatever um, at this time? Uh, None really whatsoever. If when you come back, you can isolate at home for two weeks, that's fine. I mean, everyone's isolating anyway, mostly it seems. So look, it's just, it's very suspicious what's going on. And I think a lot of our politicians are behaving in a way like they're saboteurs of their own country. Now, is this part of the globalist agenda? Possibly, it could this be stupidity? It could be a whole number of reasons, but we need to acknowledge, and this is how you can tell whether you've got a good politician. If they're acting in the interests of the people of that country, they are good, you know, and if they are balancing the COVID crisis, with you know um, civil liberties and they are trying to achieve some kind of balance that's that's pretty decent um, ScoMo has been a bit 50 50 either way sometimes he makes errors sometimes he does the right thing there's been talks that he wants to free up the um, uh, borders for example which is a good thing um, so you'll, you know you just need to look at it how much of a saboteur is your politician and why the fuck do we have saboteurs as our politicians that's the question we should ask and that's what I want to say today on the report from Tiger Mountain thank you for listening